Hi, I'm Wayne Randall, finance editor with the National Black Unity News. And now that children are back to school and the holidays are right around the corner, there's an ever-pressing need to start managing your cash flow. Let's take a look at the, the calendar year, 2018, September. I've highlighted the cells so you can better follow the pay periods. Okay, we're going to start off $1,800 for our net pay for our first pay period. Let's take a look at our expenses. Okay. We already have mortgage there, 525, groceries, 150, fuel, 50, cable, 140, card note, 425. We can see we have an expense of $1,290 for this first, first pay period. Let's go back and take a look at the summary. cash short. This is what you're going to see in your checking account, $510. What you want to realize here is what can you save realistically from this paper into the next. So what I did for the sake of this video is divided this by two. So that will give us $255. For the sake of the video, I've given you another modified worksheet and here it is. Okay. Here's the second pay period, and here's that $255 added into your second pay. Okay, let's take a look at our expenses. Our second pay, since we staggered our payments, we have child care, 300, car insurance, 178, cell phone, 75, miscellaneous credit cards, 125. And as you said, do have a category for unexpected miscellaneous for anything that might come up that we don't know about. As you can see at the bottom, we already have our expenses from both pay periods totaled up in 1968. Let's go back and look at our summary. Cash short is $1,377. Here again, you can realize what you can save to help you with your targeted savings for the end of the month here. Here, you have a lot more left between now and your next pay period. I hope you found this video to be informative, helping you realize your targeted savings goals for the end of the month. Your comments are important to me, so please email me at randwin414 at aol.com. Thank you.